welcome ladies and gentlemen to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved, slightly modded. This time we're back on the island map. It's update day. Yay! Um, I just logged back onto the um, onto the island. I've done and died a wipe. I went for a bit of a fly around just to see what was in store, or what was hanging around, and lo and behold, I bumped into this little beauty. She was just she was just hanging around. <coughs> Excuse me. And as you can see, or maybe you can't, she's a 145, which is 25, le 25 levels higher than the uh, the default because it's now on difficulty level 5, making the uh, highest naturally occurring dino a 150 as opposed to 120. So she is going to be a very definite advantage or um, uh, valued added to, to, to our breeding program, whatever. So I'm going to wait for this lady to tame, uh, tame up. Uh, fortunately, because we're on the island, we have Argy, uh, we have Stego Kibble, so she will be a Kibble tamed Argy, so she will keep as many levels as is possible, which should be around about 72, I believe. So she should be well, in, well, just over about 220 something like that we'll see I think uh, yeah one f the perfect 150 is 224 so well yeah whatever well we'll see when it will see when she tames up things can go wrong between then and now there are three new dinos on here there was supposed to be four but obviously something went wrong so uh, I can't remember which one was removed one I will have a look at over and it should be over in there was the calicotherium calicotherium um, one's a fishy thing, and I can't. And the other one, I can't remember. I think he just grabs on you and bites. A lizard, a lizardy thing. But we'll uh, we'll come across those all in due course. Also, there's the procedurally generated maps. Um, I really don't know what that means. I mean, I, I know what procedural generation is. Um, but what it means in res in relation to um, Ark, I I just I just don't know. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, that will mean I'm going to have to have a fly around and see what happens. I, I, I honestly have no idea how it works, whether I have to use the uh, the obelisks to transport, to teleport between. I, I don't know. I don't know. Right, I'm going to carry on with this. Um, and then we'll, we'll, just see, we'll just see what happens. We'll wing it, see what happens. So uh, hopefully, before too long, I'll bring you back. So BRB. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, and in a very short time, our new RG should be joining us. 99.7% uh, taming effectiveness, 72 levels, should be 207. There we go, 217. Lovely jubbly. So you got 217. Um, KT? Hmm, no. KT. Um, don't know what to call her. Not to worry. Right. So a quick look at your stats, young lady, whilst we put the saddle on you, that goes in there. And the homing pigeon ring, that goes in there. Right, we have 300 and, sorry, 3,358 uh, health, 3,000 stamina, which is nice, 504 weight, 337.3% melee. So, not brilliant, but not bad, not bad. Right, I think... What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a spot of um, a spot of leveling on this lady and see how we can get her. I'm not going to go too far. I've got things to do. Um, I will be grabbing my fur and heading up over that away. So when I find what I'm looking for, I'll bring you back, be happy. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Calicotheriums, right where I expect them to be. Cool. Zoom in a bit. Hello. Level 30 female, level 45 male, and there's a 125 here, male. Nice. Now let's see if I can pick them up with an RG. Let's put that away. I feel I'm not going to be able to pick them up with an RG straw. I'll give this a shot. Oop. No, can't pick them up with an RG. Hmm. Doesn't seem too aggressive. I dare say if I was to land over here that might change. Supposed they're supposed to be fairly territorial. Yeah, here he comes. Oop, there we go, time to leave. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to nip back, grab me Quetzal and see if I can pick him up with a Quetzal. So we'll bring him back. Right, let's see if we can go in with the Quetz. Yoink. Gotcha. Ha <laughs> ha. Right. Let's take him back to the taming pen and knock him out. Um, <laughs> I seriously doubt it's going to be a passive tame. Is he hitting me? Doesn't seem to be. Yep, seems fairly, uh, fairly calm about the whole thing. Right, let's come over here. We shouldn't be too far away. There we go, the base is loading in. There's the taming pen. I wonder if he'll, I wonder if he'll attack the taming pen. <coughs> right, it's been a while since I've done this, so let's see if, uh, see if I can do it first shot. Oop, oop, oop. Over here. I don't think that worked very well. Are we stuck on it? No, we're stuck on it. Oh. Did we drop? No, we picked him up again. There we go. I was in the taming pen. Now, I don't know if this is a berry tame or a meat tame. He's attacking the pen. Right, let's see what we do. Um, I think we best put things on passive. So I have a sneaking suspicion he's going to be hitting me a couple of times. Well, mind you, this is very effective darts. I'm very, very chuggy for some reason. Where are you, friend? And bonk. Oh, and he did hit me. I thought he might. And you're out. Let's put this away. I wonder, I wonder if it's a passive tame. That would be, that would be problematic. Um, let us get out of here for a start off because this is very, very chuggy and I don't like it. I'm going to see if it's a passive tame. If I can't access the inventory whilst it's unconscious and it isn't a bug, which thinking about it, it may well not be, it, it may be a passive tame. Which is problematic. So let's come over here and see what we've got. I don't particularly relish coming over here with Gillian. Um, this one's heading straight for me. Go on, turn around. Okay, let's try this. Let's see what happens. Oops. Gets passive. Eep, run, 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 run. <laughs> so it's passive tame. Hum. Okay, so now we know. Now we have. Oops, he hit me. And he slowed me. Or is it a poison torpor? Let's have a look. Yeah, it does torpor. And they hit you. Oh, that's where my... Uh, I wondered where my... Uh, my fur armor had gone. So it's a passive tame. Mmm. I 
I'm gonna have to have a think about this. Um, I think maybe picking them up, bringing them over here, dropping them off, grabbing some ghillie, and then doing it that way. That might be a might be a thing. Bring it back when I have more of a more of an idea what to do. We're back again, and whilst I'm waiting for the Calicotherium to uh, to wake up, it's quite unconscious. The torpor doesn't go down very fast at all, but since it's passive time, it's largely irrelevant. So while I was waiting, I thought I'd uh, just knock this out, which is another 145 RG, but this time it's a male. One thing I've been messing around with is the um, drawing a weapon while mounted. Um, it's a real thing. There are a lot of dinos you can now draw a weapon on whilst mounted. The only ones you really can't are the mammoth up. So your mammoth, your allosaur, your rex, your spinos and the gigas you can't. But as far as I know, everything else you can. Um, so that's going to be <laughs> it's going to be really interesting. I haven't had a chance to play with it yet, but um, I will. So I'm going to carry on with this. Let's, uh, let's just come out of K. Let's just go and have a look at the Calicotherium. Cali the the See how much torpor it's got left. Oh, and it's it's very chuggy over by the base. All right, let's get this out. Let's have a look at you. So we go into there. So here we go. We've got Calicotherium level 125. It's blue, so it's male. Underneath there we have health 3480, but if we use the N key, bonk, we can see it's taming and it's um, torpor. So we've still got a fair bit to go, so I'm going to carry on doing this. Maybe just a bit of a mess around and then keep an eye on the RG while it's taming up, and I'll be, I'll be. If we have a quick look at the saddles, <coughs> excuse me, here's the Caprosuchus. Uh, that's the swamp dweller, I believe. I'm going to be able to look for him in a bit. I'm pretty sure that's going to be an aggressive tame as usual. It's around the uh, level for the fabricator. I'm not sure what level that is. Hmm, not sure at all. So there's the Caprosuchus. And then just down here is the Calicotherium, around about the metal and greenhouse. So I'm going to get that. Um, can I, let's have a look at the saddles. Uh, saddles. They can. Oh no, the Capsucus can be made on me. It's 165 hide, 120 fiber, 65 chitin. So it's a, a pretty cheap saddle. So I guess that's an early game mount. But I'm going to carry on with this. Uh, nothing much is happening at the moment. Uh, I have a horrible suspicion when it does, things could go bad ways. But I'll bring it back and we'll. We'll see how it turns out, BRB. And we're back. The Calicotherium's woken up. He's wandered in and out of the taming pen. I'm going to try and see what sort of aggro range he's got. It doesn't seem that far. And let's not push it. Um, I feel it's a berry tame. So I've got some Mijos in my last slot. Yeah, he's wandering around. He's looking at me. Oops. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure how this is going to work out. See, he's wandering in and out. He doesn't seem... As if he's got a large aggro range. Whoops. But that could be wrong. Oop. This is... Oh, dear me. This is probably not the best place to do it because it's so chuggy. Yeah, I'd rather he was outside. So let's try this. No, it says put food in last slot, so it's not a berry tame. Oops, let's try and put some meat in the last slot and see where we go with that. Let's get out of his way. He 
if it's meat, then I'll probably I'm going to go and grab some prime. See how we do with that. No, it's not. It is. It is a passive team. Yeah, put meat in the last slot. So we've tried meat and we've tried berries. Let's see if it will go for maybe spoiled meat. And you should have some spoiled meat on you. You do. Good. Now let's try this. Where are you? No. So, it's not meat, it's not berries. I wonder what it is. We're back ladies and gentlemen, and uh, as you can see our little fella is still wandering around. I've tried a whole load of things and I eventually thought, well, you know, I've got, I'm not got a clue, not got a clue, so I went and checked on the wiki. And believe it or not, it's beer jars. You gotta feed it beer. You gotta get it drunk. And unfortunately, I haven't got any beer jars. I've got nothing. No, so that's this isn't this isn't going to happen today. I'm going to have to work on that. So the next thing is to go look for the Caprasuchus. So uh, that's what I'll be off to next. So BRB. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in the swamps now. There's a Caprasuchus level ten. Looks like a crocodile hmm where are you Let's put that away so I can grab him you directly underneath me aren't you where are you mate come here Oik. did we get you we got you let's come up here <coughs> excuse me so yeah it looks like a crocodile with long legs Okay. Well, at least I've seen one. Now I think I'm going to get me a better one. So, baby, go on. We. There's the other new dino, Diplocallus, 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 whatever the fishy thing. Oh. Can I? I, I let's, let's see if I can pick it up. Where are you? There you are. Yoink. Did we get it? Can you pick it up? You can. Oh, hello. Well, that's a nice colour. So it's not actually a fish. I thought for some reason it was a fish. It's actually like, like, like an amphibian. And apparently you can... Those horns on the side of the head, you can breathe from there, apparently, to extend your stay underwater. Uh, what level were you? Level 15. No, I don't think so. So we'll let you go. Bye bye. And we're going to carry on looking for the Caprasuchus. I don't think I'm going to be taming one of those. Um, I don't really have a lot of use for them since I don't go in the water much. Being a, a bit of a landlubber. That and, the, that and the sea freaks me out. So I'm going to carry on and I will be our bee. Gentlemen, and I've been wandering around the swamp for about an hour. So I've done my due diligence on the Caprasuchus. But I, think, I forgot how beautiful this map was, especially the swamp at night time. However, the best I could find was this lady down here, level 80. Bonk, go sleep. So, unfortunately... I'm going to have to settle at the moment anyway. Alright. You are... 500, these very base stats. 520 health, 770 stamina, lots of food, no, no oxygen stat. 168 weight, 170 melee and 100% movement speed. 1148 
torpor and it's not going down too terribly fast so not bad I believe I believe this is a good old-fashioned standard hello what happened there good old-fashioned standard meat tame I believe I really don't know what I base that on but anyway <coughs> excuse me what I think I'm going to hello no I can't access from here it does look like a sort of it does look like a modern croc but with slightly longer legs that was from Prime after murderizing a bronze. All right, let's hop off. Hello. Don't do this. There you go. I don't know what was going on there. Right. Prime. And take all. Hop off. Go. Whoops. There we go. How are we doing? Torpor's not too bad at all. Right. What's your food at? Well, it was about 1,200. There we go, 99.4, 99.2, 39 levels, 119, and bonk. There we go, thanks for coming. Uh, 119, PT. Okay, right, let's stick you on neutral. Right, so if we, I've, got, I've got the saddle on me, haven't I? I have, no. Your inventory, not mine. Here we go. Let's open the door. Or the gate, even. Let's have you out of there. Oh, this is so chuggy around my base. Bad. Oh, quite quick. Let's hop off. Shut the gate. Let's have a bit of a look at him. Him, her, her. a bit of a look it is there it's odd very odd the legs are out back to front normally have short legs short rear legs with long uh, forelimbs it does look like a croc with long legs now let's hop on and see how quick he weighs on the land yeah. oh let's uh, put that back on again so look at the stamina The stamina lasts quite a long while. Now let's have a look. Yeah, left click, normal attack, right click. Oh, aha! That is a. Oh, and he took damage. That's a long jump. Look at that. Bosh. And f not so fast in the water. But not bad. Not bad at all. Now I take it. Can I? I can jump whilst in the water. There we go. Looks like a tree parasaur. Right, let's line it up. Yoink. Yeah, we did hit it. You're still stuck. Let's go back over here. Oh no, it's not stuck. It's done one. I didn't see any um, damage. Yeah, they do. They just they're very, they are very—they are very similar to the uh, the mantis with the jump attack. Jump attack. <laughs> so, actually, let's have a quick look at the stats as well. Ooh, I just had a compy. Go away, you little. Right, where were we? Before we were so rudely interrupted, sorry. Right, you have 760.5 health, 910 stamina. I, hmm. 2,760 food, no one cares. 184.8 move, uh, weight, 355.5 melee, and 120 speed. Not bad, and it's only. It's only a level one, so like one ninety levels and level up. Sorry, a level eighty. So we could be quite a brute. Um, let's go risk life and limb and go and play with some of the baddies over there. I'll, I'll bring it back in a second. Jack, ha <laughs> Sabre, you missed sucker. 
Ooh. So, I was only a level 10. So we fair reasonably well against a level 10 Sabre. <laughs> That's not much to judge by. Any more for any more. What do we got over here? There's two more Sabres. Come on, let's have you. Blah! Oh, this one's got a bit more teeth on him. Level 85. <coughs> One thing I've got to show that it actually has got a, a C attack. So let's scroll that a bit. Can you guys see? Yes. Meow. Meow. Back out of that. Hello, Scorpion. What are you doing? Let's try the C attack. Meow. Meow. Well, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> That's all for show. How are we doing health wise? Let's uh, put up your melee. Oh, and let's put the melee up again. Cool. 462. Let's see what we on your heavy. You're very heavy. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Yeah, I think we're going to have to put something into weight at least just to get a bit of carry weight. Let's nip across the water. Let's do a jump attack from the water. And... <laughs> nope, oh, well, I, got, I got that wrong. Come on, RGs, let's have you. This might be a bit of a bad idea. But we'll see. Oh, we're out. <laughs> that really wasn't such a clever idea after all. <laughs> Ooh, we nearly lost this one. But at least we can do that. I can hightail it into the water and I... Do you know, somehow from the rear end, this sort of reminds me of uh, Godzilla. That's just the way the tail's moving, I suppose. Uh, let's go up here. Oop. Are we safe for a second? So I think I'm going to leave it there, folks. We've got the uh, Caprasuchus. And we found that the Calicotherium can only be tamed if it's drunk which I think is <laughs> really very funny. And the um, the fish thing, I forgot what it's called. It's not a fish, it's an amphibian. Um, I may tame one of those just, or, well, I may tame several of them just to put in the water, just for something to do. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you found this mildly useful or even mildly entertaining. Take care of yourselves. Oh, look, they're back. <laughs> See you next time. Bye-bye.